YouTube is bloody amazing, right? I'm just saying it how it is. That's the truth. Honestly, I wouldn't know probably half what I know if it wasn't for YouTube. I'm sure you're the same out there. Sorry to the UK education system, but most of what I know is because of YouTube and because of the creators out there. It always has been my favourite website and app. I just, I'm obsessed. Um, I've probably been using it for, since I was maybe 10 years old. It was helping me through school where I was crap at science um, and I was trying to revise in these books and it wasn't working for me. So I turned to YouTube, found things like the Khan Academy and changed my life and I've been hooked on it since. So... I probably wouldn't be running a marketing business if it wasn't for the help that I've had on YouTube, everything free. So, because I've always been so obsessed and watching people and the creators on air, I've always dreamt of having my own channel, but it takes some balls, to be honest. Um, it's a skill, talking in front of the camera. I still wouldn't sound great at it, but I've probably been practicing for three or four years now, on and off, once a week. Like I say, dreamt of having a YouTube channel, but the barrier to starting it all comes down to fear. And I thought, I want to do this, but I don't know what to create videos about. And I stumbled across a video from Ali Abdal with one of the ladies on his part-time YouTube Academy course. And she explains how she just started. And I think she had like roughly a hundred viewers on the video she was putting out at the start and she thought you know what like I'm putting these videos out there no one's watching them so it doesn't matter if they're crap really she's just going to do it for fun and accelerate a few years and I think she's now got 500,000 subscribers and it all comes down to consistency and practicing the skill looking at the camera when you're talking and a few other tips which I've written down um, which I'm going to speak to you about today. But the topic of the video is how it's changed my life for the better. And it really has, um, purely because it's opened a lot of opportunities up for me. I've always wanted to do this. My dream like job and career would just be to pro be providing values through video, values, be providing value through videos, through podcasts, public speaking, obviously, massively scary thing as well but this is what I enjoy doing um, from the videos that I've put out so far people have been providing some amazing feedback of how it's helped them so if I can do that on a greater scale amazing obviously uh, content creators as a career choice is growing you can get sponsorship deals obviously charge for public speaking grow a community the possibility is endless really and I really believe in it so Let's wing it and see, let's see how I get on. Um, so yeah, like I say, I just started out, um, surpassed 100 subscribers, and I've already changed the topic of my videos. So where my work-related stuff is on uh, marketing, web design, SEO, started making videos on that. They didn't really perform that well in terms of engagement. Obviously, it's a new channel, so you can't expect great results. But I'd created maybe three or four and where I'm caught up in making video, oh sorry, my work day to day is doing the web design and SEO, being on the computer. I kind of lost enthusiasm to do that on the side and make videos about it as well. And I thought, if I'm not enjoying it, how do I expect my audience to as well? And then all of a sudden I switched it up and started making videos on my mental health experiences. So where I've had psychosis back in 2019, live with lifelong bipolar. I thought, you know what, let's do it. Let's make a video about it. And the first video got, I think, about five times the amount of views and the feedback was amazing. And people would just really appreciate that I was being vulnerable and opening up. And the next video I made on it, because I thought we could be on something here, got three is up to, well, I think it's maybe 4,000 views at the moment and so many comments I think maybe a hundred comments and it's really helping people out there so I thought maybe that's the niche that I focus on for a while is the personal experiences uh, what I've been through what I've done to try and negate the psychosis and prevent relapse 
and it seems to be working well and I enjoy making the videos about it because it feels a bit like a break from work at the same time and there's not much there's not many creators out there that are talking about this topic so it seems to work for me um some little advice if you guys are thinking of starting a youtube channel and you're like me and you're like where do i start just pick one thing that you enjoy and everyone's got something they enjoy everyone's got a hobby just create a video about that make it less than five minutes and with all the editing software now it doesn't matter if you fumble upon your words i do it all the time i think i've already done it once in this video you can jump cut it out so as long as you're providing value to your audience that's fine um and it will work just try and help one person out there i mean i've got my phone on a little amazon tripod that i think cost seven or eight pound it's sitting on top of my desk I'm lucky that it's an electric um, standing desk, so I can raise it up a little bit. So videos, so I'm in shot, uh, head height, but I mean you can stand it on a few books, anything like that. This Blue Yeti mic, and by the way, I'm going to put all the links to this in the description because I think the whole setup, everything comes to maybe like less than £100. Other than the iPhone that I'm shooting this on, iPhone 11 Pro front-facing camera. So... Back into it, this is a Blue Yeti mic, USB, it's the Nano one, I think that costs 60 quid. You can be the judge whether you think the audio is alright. Then this boom arm which connects to the desk, I think that was £20 on Amazon. Again, link in the description. And then a key light which comes in at 45 degrees, which is just a ring light. So I know people have got these big soft diffuser light boxes. But it's just a ring light which sits on a tripod. I think that was maybe 25, 30 pound. I don't, I usually have a couple of USB lights on at the background. But the lighting's coming fine through the window. That just gives some background effect. Don't even have those on at the moment. And as you can see, that is that is basically it. I use all free software. Um, CapCut, don't have the Pro License. I do it all on the desktop, but again, you can do it on your phone app for free. Just do it. Have fun with it. You don't need some fancy motion graphics. I barely edit mine. Um, and once you've done that, then it comes down to creating a title and a thumbnail. And a thumbnail could be a screenshot of the video. And the title is a general rule of thumb. Just kind of think what people are searching for and what can entice someone to click on the videos. And I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun with it. Just remember that who cares if people are watching them at first. Just practice that skill because you never know. You may want to work on public speaking as a skill in itself. And YouTube is a safe environment to do that. The community is great. Um, it's not like TikTok and Instagram where people comment like silly things. It's very supportive. It's brilliant. I mean, you can't DM on YouTube, which is nice as well to have a break from those socials. And if if that fear is uploading, a great way to practice, which someone recommended to me, is just film the video. Just film a five, ten minute video, edit it and don't post it. Just either keep it as private on YouTube or just keep it stored in your camera roll. And it's great to look, put it in a folder in your camera roll because it's great to look back and see how far you've come. A lot of people say to me, oh, you seem so confident in front of the camera. And I'm genuinely not. Like, I'm an introvert. I I, sh I see myself as an introvert anyway. There's just some things that I do to practice it. Um, like, I used to think that you had to follow a script. But that doesn't work for me because, like now, I'm just going off on a tangent. And that feels natural to me. If you follow a script... You're trying to know things word for word, and I think it can come across artificial. I mean, that may work for some people, but I have bullet points that I talk about, and it just it just seems to work. Um, I barely plan them. I just think, right, I want to film a video, set the camera up, set the mic up, plug it in, and, uh, and get started. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to keep it short and sweet, less than 10 minutes. Like I say, all the equipment's... In the description, probably if I was to break it down on priorities, I'd say start with a tripod, get a good mic, so you can you don't even need the boom arm for this mic. 
you can use you probably see that little u-shape thing just sit it in there that's 60 quid sit that on the desk try and keep it that far away from your mouth i've got a pop filter on it i think one came with it but i binned it and that cost um five pound as well on amazon so i'll make sure i link that as well yeah go ahead if you have got a new channel drop it in the comments because i'd like to support you as well i'll give you a subscriber there you go there's your first one or whatever you're on if you've got a channel less than 500 subs then let me know let's support each other thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you guys soon or speaking to you guys soon see there's errors cheers and make sure you subscribe cheers.